So I want to talk about Darmarchi season five and season four. And the reason why I want to talk, and also just the journey in general, but specifically about those two seasons. And of course, I will not be going into any spoilers, so don't stress. No spoilers will be dropped. As someone that's read the light novels, I understand that it's important to, yeah, not spoil people that are anime onlys. But I want to talk about the two seasons so far and where I see the story going from a pacing perspective of its loyalty, the source material, and buckle up because I am going to trigger a lot of light novel readers because, oh boy, oh boy, my entire career is about angering people with the most watered down takes on the planet. And I enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it because it makes me realize that people take things way too serious and it's just fun. But I do believe what I am saying here that, and what I'm going to get into. So there's context to this. I will be doing a multitude of videos on this season because Darmachi season five is probably, well, the story that's been covered is one of my favorite stories for a multitude of reasons. And a lot of it comes down to the complexity of Freya as a character. But when you look at things like season four, which was very differently paced compared to the previous season, seasons one through three, I very much hated from a light novel reader's perspective. As a light novel reader, I actually have some issues with it, but not quite to the degree that light novel readers hate. And I'll get into why. The big issues with it were the fact that they focused too much on Hestia and not enough on Eyes, which led to a lot of anime-only fans really falling in love with Hestia and shipping her rebel when that ship is never going to sail, and failing to understand that Belle and Eyes are the end goal. I've talked about that in my previous video, being about the ending probably isn't going to make a lot of anime-only fans very happy because Eyes will be the winner. And Belle's feelings are very much only on her. Now, of course, I've seen some people say, oh, but his grandfather, he, he wants a hair. Like, what he wants and what Belle wants are two completely different things. So I want to be very clear on that because I've seen some people use that in my previous video. That's just, that's just a dumb take. And on top of that, it's not really his grandfather. It is and it isn't. It's like, yeah. Irrelevant of that, it's one of those where the pacing for seasons one through three, I don't see as much of a problem, but more of the focus of the pacing was in the wrong places. It was more focused on Hestia because she made a great marketing tool rather than it being on Eyes, who should have got a little bit more focus because of some of the decisions that they made. Then you go into season four, which follows the light novel almost one-to-one -one perfectly. And light novel fans absolutely loved it. Anime-only fans absolutely hated it. And see, that's the thing. Seasons one through three are absolutely, uh, generally speaking, and I'm talking general here from the communities that I've observed, generally speaking, enjoyed the anime. Like, anime-onlys enjoyed seasons one through three, but light novel fans, not so much. Then you go to season four, and it flips. Now you go into season five and it's kind of flipped again where anime onlys are enjoying this season and light novel fans are back to doing what they do best and that's nitpicking through every minor minute detail and just complaining about everything. Now do I think season five is going to do a great job at portraying Freya? No and that's just because even people that have read the light novels don't even understand Freya properly. Most got it, most understood what was being portrayed in the volumes about Freya and who she is as an individual, but there is a lot of stuff that even as the episodes are coming out and I'm seeing people on social media, particularly X slash Twitter, and people saying, you know, what's the deal about these characters and people trying to explain them and I'm just sitting there going, wait, did you read the light novels? Because that's completely incorrect. And then you find out that they have read the light novels and you're like, oh, people didn't really understand her and that's why I'll be doing a lot of videos on her because I feel like she's a character that is misunderstood in the light novels and she's going to be more misunderstood in the anime because yeah I, I have a feeling it's not going to be a loyalty to the source material issue it's just going to be people won't understand character complexity and I think that's just an issue in general when it comes to a lot of animes light novels and mangas that a lot of complex characters kind of get sort of ignored because people just don't have the ability to really dig deep on an analytical level now I'm not talking to everyone that most people that watch my channel you are civilized great individuals especially my subscribers you are the true pinnacle of understanding peak fiction again I'm just stirring the pot at this point but 
What I'm getting at is that when you look at season four, the pacing in it is very much slower and a lot of people didn't like it. And to be honest, those weren't the best volumes to begin with because the, the pacing in it, even in the light novels, in my opinion, was just too slow. The, the writer went too in detail on things that didn't need to be in detail, particularly explaining the dungeon and what was kind of going on like explain the like the fundamentals and everything that's needed the critical stuff but there was this point where he just kind of went overboard and kind of drew it out a little bit too long and i was like okay broski i i let, let, let let's wrap this up before i fall asleep or before i end up being put in a nursing home because it's taking me so long to get through and then the volumes after that were much more better paced. That's why I've enjoyed these particular volumes that are getting adapted because the pacing in it is really well done. And I feel like the light novels did a good job at actually explaining the full complexity of a character like Freya and some of the interesting dilemmas that would work with her being the person that she is. That being said, a lot, or some people, I wouldn't say a lot, I was about to say a lot, but some people are not happy with the pacing. And I think this is the problem. Light novel to anime is never going to be perfect. And you can't take everything from a light novel. You just can't. Because if you take everything one to one, the pacing becomes much more harder. And this is the thing. People treat light novels and animes like they're identically the same in their media. No, one is written, one is visual. There's a reason why things do need to be altered, but as I've always said, as long as the fundamentals are there and the general message is there, changing a little bit of pacing is okay. That doesn't mean that I'm happy with how they've portrayed the earlier seasons and how they've changed things to portray certain other characters more than other characters that needed to be, again, like I mentioned before, when it came to Hestia and Eyes. So... I want to be very clear on that because I know if I say that some people say oh but you look at the previous seasons and what they did and I'm like yes but that's a completely different issue than pacing. You can have better a good, decent pacing from an anime's perspective and still follow all the key notes. It's just the studio decided that they wanted to really put Hestia as the front and center because she sold the series much better. Now that they don't need Hestia as much because there are a lot of other characters, like in this season, Freya, who are very attractive, that will draw in eyes, now they don't need to do that as much. They've got other waifus that they can use to sell. In the early stages, they needed Hestia to sell it. Now they don't. Eyes wasn't as appealing to the eyes to sell compared to Hestia, which is why they did what, at least in my opinion, why they did what they did, which I still think was a mistake. They could sell Hestia, but still stick to the fundamentals of what the story was about. I feel like they spent too much time on Hestia and not enough on Eyes, and due to that leads to a lot of people just not caring about Eyes as much. But then, also being said, the author didn't do a great job either, in my humble opinion, and I know that triggers a lot of people, and some people agree with me, that the light novel author spent way too much time building every other girl up, and not enough on eyes, who is meant to be the winner. And that's why these topics always get so heated and so pointless because people will come in and go, well, actually, it's going to be a harem because Belle's just going to be... In it. It's like, it, your head cannon doesn't count. And I said this at the end of my last video. The reason why I get hate is because I'm the person pointing out what direction the ship is going. I'm saying, hey, this is the direction that the ship is sailing. Don't yell at me. I'm just telling you what direction it's going in. And then people go, no, you're you're wrong, you're wrong. It's not going that direction. It's actually going this direction because if I close my eyes and imagine it, it will actually be going that direction. Then they open their eyes and they realize it's actually going the other direction. I don't care at the end of the day who wins as long as it makes sense. And be preferable, I would prefer a harem ending. Just to be very clear, I would prefer a harem ending. But it's not going to be unless something drastically changes in the story. And that's one of the issues is that there's this constant dilemma. And I feel like this season is going to be one of those where a lot of people are going to get riled up as the episodes come out. Because some things are going to happen, some things are going to be explained, and you're going to realize that, hey... This is Eyes' world, and you're all just here to watch the show, but now you're going to get frustrated that the author, because the author spent too much time building up every other goddamn girl, and not enough time on the actual girl that he's already said that's, well, stated in the early stages, very clearly, who's going to win. 
And that's why it feels like an f- endless sort of cycle. It's like Groundhog Day. We go in this discussion over and over and over again, and I always see the same comments are going, but his grandfather wants a harem. Yes, what his grandfather wants and what he wants are completely different. I didn't know that his grandfather was the main protagonist in Darmachi. No, he's not. And this is the problem. People were trying to force headcanons and weird characters. What what everyone else wants and what Belle wants are two completely different things. Oh, but Freya loves him. Hestia loves him. Eyes loves him. The, the supporter girl loves him. The fox girl loves him. The receptionist loves him. The elf girl loves him. Yes, but Belle's only in love with eyes. And he's stated this a million times. Even... And this is the thing, actually. In the light novels, it, it does a little bit of a better job. But I, I do feel like the, the anime did a very good job in this in the recent episode. No, not a spoiler. But um, Welf, Belle's friend, you know, companion, says to him, you know, you need to tell these girls how you feel. Stop, you know, being wishy-washy. And that's better explained in the light novels a little bit because he's a little bit more direct in explaining. While the anime is you know, somewhat direct there, but doesn't go into too much detail. So, you know, read between the lines, and he's just saying, yeah, tell the girls how you feel. Stop being wishy-washy about it, because they're going to get the wrong impression. They're going to think they have a chance. And I'm kind of paraphrasing here. And that is why Bell says what he says at the end of the recent episode, where he says, I'm sorry, no. He's in love with someone else. He rejects Sia. And yet, people will not accept that. Again, I am a Seer slash Freya fanboy simp, the greatest cult leader of this movement, and you will understand that in the coming weeks when everyone hates her, and I'll be sitting there at the front lines waving the flag going, she's misunderstood, she's the best girl, (laughs) and everyone's going to hate me for it, but I don't care. So... All in all, I feel like Darmachi's always been one of these fun series where it always gets very heated for the dumbest of reasons because I think sometimes the writer has an identity crisis of what it's trying to do. And I have heard in the recent, in the new volume that's coming out, which I will be talking about and reviewing and analysing when it comes out, that it's much more focused on eyes. Which, thank God for that, because it's what I've been begging for for the last goddamn four volumes. Now we're finally getting it. I, and I also am not the biggest fan of the side story volumes because, again, I just want the main story volumes, more of them, and them to focus on the characters that need to be focused on. There's another video at a later point that I'll be going into about Pell's power creep, which is something that I've spoken about m- many volumes beforehand, and people said that I was wrong about, and then as the volumes came out, everyone's actually like, oh, you're actually right. How did you foresee this? Easy. It's called reading the light novels. You read them as well. You just didn't want to see the direction that the ship's going. And that's the thing. I have my eyes open. I'm not trying to sound so facetious like I'm some arrogant old know-it-all. But I do feel like sometimes some parts of the community have their eyes closed when they're, perce- when they're seeing things. And they're, they're only going with like different senses. And so they're ignoring the full picture. And I think that's the same with this series. Uh, in the anime as well and where this story is going is that a lot of fans have their eyes closed and they're going no 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 it's going to go in this direction and then when you when they finally open they go oh oh it's it's going that way and it's like yeah so i know it's a hot topic i'm going to enjoy keeping talking about it and so if you do want more dumb archie content definitely stay subscribed definitely subscribe definitely leave a comment and check out my playlists because i have all the light novel analysis videos and character breakdowns and i have more coming in the coming weeks so definitely stay tuned for more dumb archie content so if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video freya's best girl